how's it going today's video is about digging ragworm and over the years many people have asked me how do you dig ragworm you know it's kind of difficult just to say so i'm going to show you uh, what to look for in the ground what you'll need to, to do it most effectively and what i do myself so i'm going to start off with showing you what i use for both lugworm and ragworm or whatever whatever i'm getting i use a unit counter this helps you keep track of how much bait you have and gets you to the point of how much bait you need simple as that okay lovely job then you need a fork not the shortest fork in the world this was supplied by my brother it's like revenge for when we were kids always and you would need a bucket right yes or two it's always helpful to have two buckets to go into each other keeps your bait cool if you damage some you can put them in the bottom one if you're going to use them later on that day simple okay and they're the good ones you keep in there that's it so we're gonna have a look at the ground what you're looking for is ground like this okay yes and that's the beach up there there'll be no worms well there'll be no ragworm past this point here say so. right that's it you have to be down in here to get the worms okay now you're wondering how do you spot the worms you see that is the thing what you're looking for just holes in the gravel that's it and i'm gonna see if i can find you one here we go i can see several already but i'll try to find one that's obvious there's one there that's a hole for a ragworm and as you look you'll see more and more and more of them there's another one there there's another one there there's not too many here but the tide hasn't gone out all the way yet and generally the further out you go the more worms there are there comes a point when the the gravel changes when you get into the mud and there'll be no more king rag and you'll find places there'll be more holes and obviously there's going to be more worms there but i'm just going to start digging and that's the thing it's not like you can't target them individually you know what i mean you can survey the place pick a patch and pick the best places to dig and then you just dig backwards and then you dig beside that and you fill in the hole and so on until you cover as much ground as you can and waste as little ground as possible okay that's it so we're going to get started now yes so first of all you need to get some water for your buckets because obviously they're aquatic animals and they need water to breathe most of the time keep your buckets as clean as you can so that it doesn't build up bacteria and stuff like that so just rinse them out when you're finished with them. Don't leave any dead bits of worms in there or anything. Otherwise you're just asking for trouble. And all your hard work will be in vain. Water, done. Digging, starting. Now, you don't have to dig deep. You just need to put the hole of the fork into the ground like this. We'll see if we get lucky first time out. Now, first glances, I can see there's no worms, but it's always best to look. There's one, actually. It's only a small harbor rag, but it's a worm nonetheless. Get them out and have a look at them. There we go. But they live with them as well. So just keep on taking backwards. So you can actually see that it is actually like gravel okay it's not mud at all you won't find king rag in mud so here we go here's the first guy it's, it's not a monster but it's not too small either there we go it's a little rag there put him in the bucket here we go go mentally is good man that's a pretty small king rag anyway but it just shows what i'm talking about here here's where i'm digging okay and so I've made one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've done six digs and I found the first worm. Now I'm just going to dig beside it and I'm going to turn it in. I'm going to fill it in behind it, just there. Saves you a bit of work at the end of the day. You don't want to leave the place in bits, do you? No. So I'll just continue. I mean, they're pretty easy to see, especially the big ones. There's a good one there. So there's a decent one over here, I think. Let's get him out of there. There's a fairly decent one, that one. Just drop him in the bucket there too. Nice.
There's one there. That's a lugworm, look. I mean, you had a mind that you could keep them too, but it's a little bit small. You'd have to separate them from the rag, though, because the ragworm would kill it. That's what the second bucket's for, as well. Different baits. So this is actually what we're after. These guys here, the snakes. <laughs> He's a beast. Now, this is a king rag. And if you get a grip of you, yeah, you know all about it. Now, you can see the size difference between that lad and the rest of them there. I'm pretty high up. As I go down, there'll be more holes and more ragworm. But I'm just gonna continue anyway, because I found that nice big one. I mean, I'm not gonna film everything, but this is the patch I've dug. It took me about five minutes to do this. It's a numbers game like bait collecting is. The more holes you dig in the right place, the more bait you'll get, right? Simple as that. So I'm gonna continue. Right, I started 10 minutes ago, basically. And I'm gonna show you what I have when I'm finished, okay? More bait. Cockles, just pick up whatever you can as you're going along. You'll have a great selection of bait. So far, what is it? Lug, rag, all types of shellfish. As well as that, you find lots of other things down here, peeler crabs and... So I just saw something in this tube here. So we'll just empty this out. Probably just a goby or something. Right, we tip up the other end and see what's in here. Peeler's great bait, as everybody knows as well. Could be a load of peelers in here. I don't know what it was. There you go, look at that. <laughs> Loads of fish in there. Look at them. <laughs> you mind there? Look at the size of them. <laughs> I suppose you could use them as bait as well if you had a mind to. But we're going to let them go. I'm going to put the tube back. He's a pretty big guy. <laughs> little blenny or something. Not too open these things at the moment. Anyway, so I'll put the tube back and I'll put the lads back in there. So that was what was living in there. There's bait all over these places. Loads of bait down in estuaries like this. And it's just a normal estuary, it's not anything special. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna put him back in here. I'm gonna put him back in there like that. In he goes. <laughs> Good man. The other guy's gone in here. Hey, we'll pop him in there. There you go. Anyway, so we continue. So this is it. This is the area I've dug so far. That took 20 minutes or so. And that's about the worms I got there. Not sure how many there is. They're pretty decent size. We say 15 for 20 minutes. So uh, I'm gonna return this as close as I can to its original state. And then I'm gonna move down here where there should be more holes and more worms. This is it now. Without killing myself. Obviously, you can see somebody's been digging, but it's not a horror show like it was. And I have in some way tried to repair the damage I did. And that's what all it takes. I just wanna see if I can find any holes. There's one there. That's gonna be a decent ragworm. So I'm just gonna see if I can dig this guy out and uh, get him on camera anyway. This is the way it goes. You point a camera at something, it very rarely works out the way you want it to. So we give it a lash anyway. Let's hope there's a real snake in there. Oh. <laughs> Look at that man. <laughs> what a piece of dirt man. <laughs> at least you witnessed it, right? That's the video coming to an end right there. Look at that. Cheap ass. Whatever that is, don't buy one of them. See? Brother's Revenge. Let's see what the counter says. Okay, here we go. 12. <laughs> so 12 and a half an hour with the filming and the messing around. And I would like to continue this video, but I can't. It's also good if you have a man-sized fork and not a hobbit fork. Hobbits aren't very good at digging bait. I know it is because there's no references to it in uh, Lord of the Rings, for instance. It's true, okay? So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. I hope it saves you some money. And I hope you catch this some fish. I'm Billy. This is Billy Digging King Rag. Wherever you are in the world, I'll see you on the beach. Bye.